Sabino Canyon kids. I'm sad because I cannot make it to Sabino Canyon today, so I went for a walk in my own neighborhood. And wow, look at what I found on this prickly pear cactus. It looks like someone was having a cotton ball or cotton candy fight with a lot of white stuff stuck on this cactus. Do you know what this is? Well, this is actually an insect on the cactus called cochineal. The cochineal insect feeds on prickly pear cactus. The body fluid inside the cochineal contains a terrible tasting substance to protect our little insect from predators. But that fluid also has an amazing bright red color, which we'll get to in just a moment. But first, a bit of history. Long ago, natives in Mexico, the Americans, and our own Tucson natives called Hohokam used cochineal for dyeing, painting, and medicines such as teeth cleaning, headaches, and stomach distress. Then came the Spaniards from Europe, hoping to find riches such as silver and gold. Well, when these Spaniard explorers saw the beautiful red color used by the natives from the cochineal, they sent it back to Europe and cochineal quickly became the second most valuable item next to silver. Let's leave history and put on our science hats. The female cochineal are dark red and secrete, secrete's a big word for release substance from their body, the cotton-like material to give them protection from predators. In the late summer, after the females have mated, their eggs hatch into six-legged nymphs called crawlers. These kids are larvae or crawlers. I bet some of you might have a crawler at home. You call a baby brother or a baby sister. They secrete a thin line of white stuff. And then when the wind comes along, they get carried away to another prickly pear pad and they start the process all over again. So although you'll most likely never see a cochineal insect, how about putting on your explorer hat and try to find some of the white cotton candy looking stuff on a prickly pear cactus. In Sabino Canyon, there are usually several pads right near the visitor center covered. Or you can just go exploring in your own neighborhood. If the prickly pear cactus is healthy, the cochineal will not hurt the cactus. And please just look, as we do not want to ruin a perfectly fine insect in our beautiful Sabino Canyon. Oh, and one final fun fact. If your mom wears lipstick, or if you're like me and love red licorice, there's a good chance it has some cochineal in it, as it's one of the few substances approved by our government as a safe red dye number four for coloring our food and cosmetics. Have fun exploring outside, Sabino Canyon kids. Right now, I'm going to sit back, relax, and eat some delicious cochineal secretion, otherwise known as red licorice. Woohoo!